Hello everyone! Um, I made sure to wave there because somebody noted that I did not wave in one of my last reviews and it's funny because a lot of times I sit here and I do two videos in a sitting and I probably do wave the first time I sit down and then I start doing another review and I feel like I've already waved. <laughs> but anyway, the product of the day that I'm talking about is actually a skincare item this time and it is the Garnier Ultra Lift Miracle Sleeping Cream. And I think I mentioned this in a haul like quite a while back, months ago actually. And I really wanted to follow up and actually let you know how this ended up working because at the time it was brand new to me and I wasn't able to tell you much about it. And I really do think skincare items have got to be tested for a pretty good chunk of time before you can report back and say actually how it's done for your skin. So what was my nighttime skincare routine that I talked about in my actual skincare routine video, I put that on hold and I started using this. And it says in the directions, every Every night apply a pearl sized amount on clean skin, gently massage in an upward motion until fully absorbed. Now I mean if you wanted to put a serum underneath you could, but I'm trying to get an idea of how this works just on its own and they say to just put this cream on clean skin. So that's the manner in which I've been using this and in terms of the claims of this product it's an anti-aging plus anti-fatigue cream this says. And you may have seen the commercials where it talks about you know you wake up your skin just looks wonderful and more energized in the morning. And I can't really validate that claim in this video. When I'm waking up, I usually am tired. Um, I look tired. Maybe this product is really delivering in some amazing way for other people, but there's nothing miraculous happening to my skin overnight wearing this. Maybe you can see in there, my cream is about half gone now. And you will notice when you open it up, it's got a strong scent that I feel I am accurately describing as a very strong mimosa. That's what it smells like. A little bit of orange, a little bit of champagne, actually a lot bit of champagne in there. And I like that scent, but it kind of throws me for a loop because this is a nighttime product and that's something I would associate with mornings or brunch. Or... But I don't know, it's a scent that's pretty strong and I definitely notice it every time I open up and apply the product at night and it just seems strange to me. While it looks like a cream, you know, it's kind of just that white creamy color, um, it blends out almost like a gel, but it's not a gel that dries down down totally. It definitely keeps some moisture. It retains the moisture well in my skin. I mean, I do like the feel of it going on because it doesn't feel too heavy. And then when I wake up, I feel like my skin definitely is moisturized, but it's not an oil slick, not even in my T-zone. And so that would be the thing that I like about this product is the moisture content. And I have normal to combo skin, but I feel like if you were even more oily than me, you might still like this amount of moisture because like I said, while it looks crazy, Creamy, it still behaves a little bit more like a gel, but not the kind of gel that your skin's just going to immediately drink up. There's still some moisture there. But I will say over time that I've been using this and I've been really paying attention to other products I've been using, you know, keeping my morning skincare routine the same. And this is something that I'm about to talk about that I've noticed even before I've gotten into using a lot of different sunscreens here lately, before it was pool season and stuff like that. Because, you know, when you're piling on sunscreen, which I really do on my face um, this time of year, that's another thing to consider, you know, how that's reacting with your skin. But even before all that, I felt like I noticed a little uneven texture with this. And that's a problem I don't normally have with my skin. Like little bitty bumps that aren't really zits, but just kind of causing that imperfect texture in your skin, you know? I felt like I noticed that cropping up as I used this more. But I never felt like my skin looked any more awakened or anti-fatigue as they say. Um, I feel like my pores are as visible as ever if not more so. And like I said, the little bumpies which are kind of on the forehead and also a little bit on like the sides of my nose as well. But again, just to wrap this up, it's a product I like the consistency of, I like the level of moisture that it gave my skin, but I don't think it necessarily necessarily improved the appearance of my skin. And if you like the scent of a strong mimosa, <laughs> that's what this is. If you've tried this, do you agree? Does it smell like that? I notice a strong smell of champagne and a little bit of orange thrown in. Anyway, skincare is a very individual thing. What didn't work so well for me could be a great product for someone else. Maybe check out some other reviews, go on Makeup Alley. That's a great way to get like a slew of different opinions, but just throwing mine into the mix. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see See you later. Bye.